How do? Time for another beer review. For this one, we are going back to Lakes Bruco. And this is one of their first birthday beers. It's called Not Sorry. It's a 10.5% peanut butter and chocolate Imperial Stout in a 440ml can. So it just says on the back, Not Sorry that you're going to love this beer. Peanut butter and chocolate are rolled into one ridiculously sumptuous, silky Imperial Stout. Don't overthink it, just enjoy it. Brewed to celebrate our inaugural year of brewing. Ingredients, water, malt, barley, oats, lactose and cacao nibs. Um, what a year. Um, well done, Lakes Brew Court. Um, it's been a great journey. I've absolutely loved trying the beers. I've absolutely loved going to the tap room. What a ta It's open once a month. If you're in Kendall, get yourself there. It's brilliant. Um, they've got a fan in me, so... Um, We'll do this one. Um, so yeah, this is one of this is one of um, three beers. <clears throat> so we'll get all the three beers on the channel at some point. So it's pouring brown. Um, I would say that's a deep brown rather than a black, and that's got a real creamy mocha head on that. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of looking like it's gonna. Leave a bit of foam on the glass. Real tight bubbles in that. We'll get the nose. Oh, yes. Lots of dark chocolate, but predominantly peanut butter. <clears throat> and it's screaming it. Um, I did a um, beer from Home Bargains recently on the channel. Um, a tailgate um, peanut butter stout. Um, and that had a big peanut butter aroma about it. Massive. Whereas... I think this has got more of a, a nutty, like a hazelnut kind of aroma. I would say, or maybe pain, yeah. No, no, I'll go with, I think it's maybe, yeah, hazelnuts, yeah. I'm trying to convince myself it smells like peanuts, but yeah, I'm going hazelnut. Right, I'm diving in. Cheers, everybody. That's nice. Um, silky smooth. It's got a bit of roasted malt on the finish. It's got that peanut butter up front. And then it's got dark chocolate just swirling around with it. Creamy body. Bitter snap as well on the finish. And then it goes back into like a chocolate sauce kind of aftertaste. Um, I think the chocolate, and, and you get a big blast of the peanut butter first, and then the chocolate kind of just hangs around, so it's more chocolatey, I would say, than peanut butter, but it's lovely. Um, it's got a really um, thick, luxurious body about this beer. Um, it, it, the body and the mouthfeel imply to me that it's a high ABV beer, but I'm not getting any real alcohol warmth to, to make me think it's a high ABV beer. Yeah. I mean, it just ever so slightly caught your teeth. This is a really nice, luxurious stout. And they've did a one previous that had Tonka in it, and it's on a par with that. So... I think the two Imperial Stouts deep now, Lakes Bruco, and they're both really, really good. So I'm going to recommend this beer, but I'll just show you the other two that they've got for um, for the birthday. So they've got um, No Pav, No Party, which is a 4.5% raspberry peach and passion fruit pavlova sour. And they've got another one, which is a New England Hazy IPA called Haze One Complete and that is six percent and um the hops in that uh, are nelson sovin citra mosaic cryo el dorado and idaho seven um it sounds like it's a, a souped up version of the new england session ipa that they do so um i'm looking forward to giving that one a try but if those two are as good as this one I'm in for a treat. So I'm going to recommend this beer. Um, it's really, really nice. I'll add that to my Lakes Bruco playlist and I'll add that to my Cumbrian playlist. 
Um, so that's Lake Brew Co's Not Sorry. I am not sorry to review that and I'm not sorry to recommend it. It's a fantastic beer. So thank you for watching and on to the next one. Cheers.